life as nothing else than very realistic RPG. <laughs> that is exactly what I believe we should have. That, that is the approach that we should have towards our self-development and self-improvement. You are a character, and you're having plenty of stats you can invest in, right? So, in like a classic RPG, you got some strength, you got some endurance, you got intelligence, or mind, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, things that are affecting different parts of what the character really is. And whenever you're gaining more experience, you can use this experience to level up certain parts and certain parts only. Therefore, you, you can't be the best at everything. Not with the lifetime, and at least not for most of us, because there are a few phenomenon, uh, f- phenomenal people that seem to be best at everything, although I'm pretty sure they are not. So, thinking about it in this way, just take a look at what blank sheet you really are. Okay, that is a default character. Default character is not you have been the first second you ever got spawned to existence. Default character is what you are right now, because you're starting right now, right? Okay, you're starting right now. And, okay, what do I have? What am I? What am I good at? What am I bad at? (laughs) How many years will I live? Because answers to those questions might be a little different for 18 years old and 80 years old. So, so that's that. The older you are, you want to rely on the things that you already know and you probably won't develop them because they will shine brighter at the end rather than if you just go for something completely new. But basically speaking, that's that. And you can't level up everything, unfortunately. If you we wish to focus on one attribute only, you're probably going to, to, to be superior at it, right? But here's the thing. Here is the catch. Here is the thing that I don't think anybody ever tells you about. If you've ever played RPG, you do know that leveling up one stat only is never a good idea. For example, in Souls games. In most Souls games, the high level cap is at 60. So you can go up to 99 within a certain attribute, but you want to stop at 60. You want to stop at 60, right? Because leveling up past that point simply makes no goddamn sense. So, if you want to have a very successful build, either for PvE or for PvP, you got to find something that you're going to be optimal about, right? So, first things first. There are two things to it. First things first. Not everybody is good at playing with everything, okay? If you are a talented spellcaster, you will not be a talented healer. Basically, if you ever tried it, being a healer is very fucking difficult. Very difficult. These are, this is an entirely different skill set. Being a warrior, that's way different. Being some kind of a samurai, maybe, that's way different as well. Or some ninja. Or doing some stealthy invasions... That's a way different skill set. So first things first, what are you good at? What greens your gears? What makes you excited? That's the first thing. And second thing, if you choose to level up rather high, but definitely not the highest, few of the stats, like three or four, you're absolutely unique. That is something that, what was his name? What is Scott Adams? I think it was Scott Adams that said that if you are in a top 25% of people in four different skills, you are one and only in the world. Why? Because there are so many skills that if you are in the first quarter of humanity at each of those four skills, there is no one, no one just like you, and it comes out straight out of statistics. So you don't have to be best at one thing. You can be really, really bloody good at four things. And you can have have very optimized build. Which skills to pick? We're coming back to the first thing. The first thing that I said. You gotta find out what greens your gears. You gotta find out what you're good at. What you're excited about. What you really like doing. What what is cool? (laughs) Basically speaking. Putting it simply. What is cool? (laughs) What do you find absolutely fucking cool? 
And then you make your build around it. And keep in mind, you got a very limited time. You got a very limited character. All the experience you get, which is which are all the days that are passing, you can put your effort only into certain skills. And if you'll do it, other skills will remain undeveloped. Keep it in mind and make it your strength. 